Full race cards and selections for every weekend and every day of major horse racing festivals are on our website at ulo.co.uk. We're in Fox Rock for the Dublin Racing Festival this weekend, and what a superb two days of racing are lined up on the vast expanses of the Leopardstown track. It was a meeting completely dominated by Willie Mullins last year, landing six of the eight grade ones. This year, he looks just as well treated, and has his string peaking at just the right time. There's been plenty of chatter about whether he could land all eight this year, which would be a remarkable feat, but that could all go west in the opener, where British Raider we've all been caught looks the one to follow. Nigel Twiston Davies' charge scored in the Ballymore Maiden at Cheltenham's New Year's Day meeting, so should find a trip short of three miles around here well within his range. Second up, Willie Mullins should be in the winner's enclosure with Lossy Mouth, lining up in Rich Ritchie's pink silks, as the champion trainer warms up for Saturday's features. Gordon Elliott may have to wait until the closer to get his name on the festival scoresheet, but better days ahead has to top the shortlist for the future stars flat race. In the handicaps, we'll take a chance with Lucky Max in the hurdle, and final orders in the chase. Saturday's nap, though, lines up in the Arkle Novice chase. Willie Mullins has the stranglehold on this contest, sending out five of the eight starters. The ready preference is for the Supreme Novice's winner at 2021's Cheltenham Festival, appreciate it. He's made an impressive start to his chasing career, with bloodless wins at Punchestown and Nace, and is the one Paul Townend chooses to sit on. Appreciated always looked every inch a top-class chaser, and can take grade one honours here. Next up is Paddy Power Irish Gold Cup, which should be going to Gallopin de Champs. Yet another Clossutton inmate that can make it a special day for the Irish champion trainer. Unbeaten, except for an agonising last fence fall that unshipped a hapless Paul Townend, when looking a certain winner of the Turner's Novices chase at Cheltenham back in March, he made no mistake in the Gold Cup at Ferry House the following month. With a sublime win in the John Durkin at Punchestown in December, he's the one to beat here, and should confirm his place at the top of the market for Cheltenham's Blue Ribbon next month.